One of my friend came to me with his DJI Spark drone and said it was not working as it was supposed to be. So after powering it on, one of the motors started to heat up and LED won't blink. And after connecting the drone to DJI app, it says cannot take off. And when I tried to take off, it says ESC status error, which means ESC is broken. So in this video tutorial, I will show you how you can fix this ESC status error only for 14 US dollars. So let's fix it. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. They are known for high quality PCB prototype manufacturing. You can order 2 to 6 layer PCB from their website. To see production in progress, you just have to click one button. And build time is only 24 hours for 2 layer PCB. Check them out, link is in the video description. First step before performing any kind of repair is powering off the drone. And for that, click and hold the power button of DJI Spark. And then we need to disconnect the battery, which is very straightforward. And since we only have a problem with our ESC, we don't need to open the entire drone. To reveal the ESC inside, take a flathead screwdriver and open this lid. Be careful and don't use much pressure. ESC is held in its place with these two screws, which are normal Phillips head. While removing these screws, make sure not to use an oversized screwdriver else it will damage the screw head. After removing the bracket which held the ESC, I reconnected the battery and powered the drone. And entire ESC started to heat up. Now instead of wasting time trying to find which component of ESC was broken, I went on eBay and found this replacement ESC which was only 14 US dollars with good reviews. After about one week of the order, I received the ESC and now we just have to replace it. For that, first I used my soldering iron to heat up the solder and then used a soldering wick to remove all the access solder and disconnected the wires from the ESC. Once old ESC was removed, I soldered the new one. For that, I highly recommend using a helping hand and a tweezer as it is not possible for one person to do this job. Once ESC was replaced, before putting everything back together, I tested the drone by powering it on and all the LEDs this time turned on as it was supposed to be. Just to make sure, I tried to fly this drone inside and it worked flawlessly. But I don't recommend flying a drone inside the house as it can be dangerous and you can easily crash it. After the test, I powered off the drone remove the battery, put everything back together and this drone was fixed. So why not let's check it outside and test it. 